so excited that, that God brought me here to this school. I knew when I was in high school that I wanted to play soccer in college. I was at a point where I wasn't really having fun with basketball anymore. Um, I didn't know if it was for me. I just got to a breaking point and I decided that I was going to transfer. So I'm originally from Cape Town, South Africa. I came from a university that had 30,000 students. Um, to go from that to a small school like this was a, a little bit of a culture shock. Uh, I settled on free because I really liked the girls here and they were nice and they included me. Not having anywhere to go and thinking that basketball was over, God was able to completely opened the doors for me to come to Freed Hartman and I knew that Freed Hartman was the right place for me. My freshman year I went to a, a bigger university um, because I, I really wanted to go to a big school and, and feel like I had accomplished something. And, and long story short, God kind of came into the mess of my life and, and the, the priorities that I had in my life and, and showed me that I was focused on all the wrong things. Um, brought me to Freed Hartman University and my life will be forever impacted by this school. My time playing soccer has influenced my actions in big situations by helping me to uh, learn patience uh, with other people, um, being respectful of others um, in stressful situations. Um, it's helped me be a leader and a role model, especially starting my junior year here because there was no seniors on the team. So I had to be the example on the field. The very first it was the first game that we played. I remember I scored a goal from halfway. It took us into overtime and we ended up winning the game. And then the whole team running after the game, we all like, we were so happy after we won it at the end, thanking the fans. And that was, that for me was a moment was like, man, I, I really like the school, I like the team that I'm a part of. And you know, we were growing together. And I think that, that moment for me was like, God was telling me, hey, you're supposed to be here. My senior year, um, we went to the national tournament and for the second year in a row and we ended up losing. It was heartbreaking. Everything that we had been through the past two years with this team, um, just all coming to an end and the mixture of emotions, everything going through your head, the anger, the upset because you just lost, but also the happiness at the same time and the joy of the past two years and everything coming up to one final end. Um, There's just tears coming down my face and everybody else on the team. That was my moment at Freed Hardman. Everything being summed up into one final group hug with my teammates. Um, and that meant the world to me. Freed Hardman has had just an everyday impact on me. Um, I see myself as a happier person. During my four years at Freed Hardeman, it has taught me many things. I've um, learned how to incorporate my Christian values on the field and in the classroom and in the workplace. It's also um, given me opportunities to serve others and I've made awesome Christian friends that are there to support me in good moments and bad moments, both on the field and off the field. The nine months that I've been here, I think I've grown a lot, not just on the field, but in the classroom too. When you come to Freed, where the professors genuinely care about you, they want to make sure you're doing well, you know, academically. And on the field too, your coach, he knows your name. He wants to make sure you're doing well. Doesn't matter where you come from, whether you're from here or not. You know, uh, just the fact that people care about you is something that really, um, that I felt that was different when I got here. I've learned my priorities uh, rest in the gospel and rest in Jesus and, and in the strength that he has given me. Um, I have learned uh, just about life and, and, and living for God's glory. Something that I've learned from, from the guys and, and baseball here is that um, the glory of God, it, it's not when you hit a home run, like you don't glorify God when you hit a home run or you strike somebody out, you glorify God when, when you sacrifice for your brothers on the field. At this school, just the people, the people are, they really are just love. Um, going from the faculty to the staff to the students. Um, everybody at Freed Hartman is just genuine and they're unselfish and they care about the students and they'll do anything for you. Being around high character people allows you to become more like them.